is Skyrim, and I'm going to be talking about ice cream. But I didn't want to research just normal ice cream. I wanted to learn about Maleka Gashani and what role it has in making the best ice cream. I chose to research ice cream because I love ice cream, and I thought it would be a really fun subject to learn about and talk about. So, you're probably wondering what Maleka Gashani is. Well, Maleka Gashani is a branch of food science that investigates the way ingredients are changed when combined and cooked. For example, have you ever had Dippin' Dots or Minnie Mouse? Well, both companies use cryogenically frozen ice cream. That means the ice cream is extremely cold. Another example is 10 Below. They make rolled ice cream. They make an ice cream liquid with egg. They pour into a frozen plate and wait until it's solid enough to roll up. Another example is foam ice cream. In foam ice cream, molecules of that are suspended in a water sugar ice structure along with air bubbles. The pressure of air means that the ice cream is also technically a foam. In addition to milk fat, non-fat milk solids, sugar, and air, the ice cream also, also contains state badges and emulsifiers. There are many more things that explain Maki Kishani in Missouri. <coughs> so, does Maki Kishani change the way ice cream looks and taste? Yes, Maki Kishani does change the way ice cream looks and taste. But how? Well, Maki Kishani changes the way food and ice cream taste because of the signs behind it. For example, the size of the ice crystals changes the way the ice cream looks. The color of the ice cream changes the way the ice cream looks. The texture of the ice cream can change the way the ice cream looks too. There are many more things that can change the way the ice cream looks, but in addition, Maki Kishani can change the way ice cream tastes. So Maki Kishani changes the way food food and ice cream taste because of the science behind it and usually the flavors you decide to put in. The, the ingredients also change the way the ice cream looks and tastes. To learn more, I went to two places instead of one because I want to compare both ice creams. I went to Ice and Freely in Seven Heaven. Both stores make rolled ice cream like 10 below. Seven Heaven's goal is to break the traditional concept of ice cream to have Seven Heaven ice cream shops across the country. Seven Heaven is called Seven Heaven because the ice cream is at 7 degrees Fahrenheit and after tasting it, your taste buds will definitely go to ice cream heaven. The store also wants their ice cream to be healthy, delicious, and very exciting. Iceland's really goal is to try to make healthy, fresh ice cream. The ice cream makes shops down a negative 30 Fahrenheit within seconds of hitting the mixing plate, reducing the formation of ice crystals, making their ice cream smoother and creamier than traditional ice creams. The two ice creams were also very different because the 7 Heaven ice cream was more thick and chunky. Although the 7 Heaven ice cream was smooth and thin, as the both ice creams were very good and fun to watch. Danny and Winner to 10 Below, located flush in Europe, told me that they actually put egg in their ice cream mixture. The egg keeps the liquid cream solid when it's being rolled up. The metal plates they use to roll the ice cream on is extremely cold and also helps with the ice cream becoming solid. I also learned that you need about two shifts of training to roll the ice cream at 10 Below. The reason 10 Below is invented is because they want each customer to have an amazing experience watching them make their unbelievable roll of ice cream. Investigating ice cream was definitely the easiest part, but one of the most fun parts of capstone because I'll learn about Mleka Gashani and what effects it has in making the best ice cream. I also learned how science is used to change ice cream and I got to go to two places that both make rolled ice cream with freezing cold temperatures. I learned that the temperature of the ice cream changes the look and the texture of the ice cream. I learned there's different there's lots of different unique ways to change ice cream's looks and tastes. Thank you all for listening to the presentation. If you want to see more information then go check out my blog. Have a great week and go get some ice cream.